It's yes. a it's a simple question. Do you believe that 75% on-time delivery of mail in North Georgia is where we need to be? 50% of, of, of first-class mail in Georgia gets delivered a day in advance. We are in the 75 to low 80s uh, uh, on time, and 90% is the day after. While we're doing our transitions, okay, that's where we're going to be. That's one of the reasons why we have other types of service-related issues uh, that are... Yeah, my, my time is limited. Let me assure you that... For my constituents in Georgia, yeah. the mail being delivered on time, 75% of the time, is not where we need to be. When you said 233 days ago that we would be where we need to be in 60 days. Delivering for America plan projected positive net income for USPS starting in FY23. Is that right? That's correct. In FY23, you had a $6.5 billion loss, correct? In FY24, you had a $9.5 billion loss, correct? Correct. You had projected for FY24 a $1.7 billion gain, correct? I don't remember. Yeah, that's correct. Would you say that your tenure has been a success? I would say that the 10-year plan has not reached what the plan said it would be, but I do believe Sorry, not, not your 10-year plan, your tenure. Has your tenure as Postmaster General been a success? Senator, I know how you feel about me. You've been quite public, okay? So if, I, I'm not going to you know, debate that you think I'm a failure. Fine. I don't. It's not about how I feel about you, it Postmaster is. General. It's about whether or not seniors in Georgia are receiving prescriptions. It's the stacks of boxes of oh, mail so. from courts that never arrived well, that went, to their destination. Happening. It's the that's small businesses yet. who are not able to get products Pack, to market package, package and who are, this is, this is my time, Postmaster General. You're here under oath before the U.S. Senate. I know where I am. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Postmaster General, prior to your efforts to implement Delivering for America and move to the Palmetto facility in Georgia, on-time delivery for first-class mail in North Georgia was over 90%, correct? Not so. Not so? Not what so. was on-time first-class mail delivery in Georgia prior to the changes that you implemented at Palmetto? So Atlanta, Atlanta was always in the bottom 20% of our service standard across the nation. Because and my question is, what percentage I, of first-class mail? I don't remember. Mail? It was probably in the low 80s. So a single-piece first-class mail was definitely in the low 80s. In the midst of the changes that you implemented mid-spring, that declined to 36%, correct? We've been through this. Yes, it has. We've been through this. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going through it again. Okay, let's go. On-time delivery of first-class mail in Metro Atlanta and North Georgia, late spring, was 36%, correct? That is correct. Okay. You said at the hearing in April that we would be, quote, where we need to be in about 60 days, correct? I believe so, yep. It's been 233 days. Sound right? That's, I don't, I don't. It's know. been 233 days. On-time delivery of first-class mail in Metro Atlanta, North Georgia, is now at 75%, correct? Okay. Are we where we need to be? Uh, where we're going to be for a little bit, yes. It's small businesses who can't operate. It's deaf notices not delivered to family members. And you're sitting here trying to explain that 75% on-time delivery is a success. And it's not. It's not about how I feel about you, Postmaster General. It's how my constituents are being served by the United States Postal Service. Let me ask you a question about the Palmetto facility in Georgia. Have there been any deaths any in the Palmetto deaths? facility in the last year? Any deaths? Deaths. I, I have a lot of events throughout the course of the year. I don't remember specific. I have a lot of deaths throughout the course of the year. I don't remember specifically Palmetto. No. How many, how many deaths of personnel on the job would you say you've had nationwide in the last year? Uh, we'd probably see 10. Okay. Well, you had a death in the Palmetto facility last year. Will you provide my office and this committee with all materials relevant to that death? Absolutely. 
When will on-time mail delivery be restored to the level prior to you trying to make these changes for my constituents in Georgia? You said in April we'd be where we need to be in 60 days. Well, first days. of all, I disagree with the premise because the service is probably at the level of service where you were before I started these changes, right? We're now. not. Yes, we are. I've got the numbers in front of me. We're not. I don't know what numbers you got. But I've got your on-time delivery statistics. But You're not where you were before you tried to make this change in Georgia. You're at 75% on-time delivery in Georgia. So when will you be? We started, you said the Delivering for America plan. When we started the Delivering for America plan, service in Georgia was terrible. Aspects of the Delivering for America plan brought that service up. We were close to the 90s across the board. That was part of the Delivering for America plan. When we opened a new plant is when we had our issues. Service went down and we're recovering from it now. And it's part of when we get to where we want to be, it's going to be part of the whole broad filing that we have with the, th with, with the PRC right now, where some of the service business rules that are 30 years old that should have been changed are affecting how we measure service. So there's a bunch of other things that need to come together to get the service where, where it is. In all, service in Georgia is le within less than three days, people get all their mail packages and everything, right? And that will be what, you know, that, that will be the target, what we're, what we're trying to shoot. You for. just lowered your targets for next year, correct? I lowered the targets for next year to, to put that, what I just said out into the public, that this is what it's gonna look you like. You lowered your year. targets for next year so you could meet your targets. So I can make the changes that we need to make to provide a viable United States Postal Service. Well, Postmaster General, you're not meeting your financial targets. You're hemorrhaging cash when you said you'd be making money. Delivery in Georgia has been abysmal this year. You have not recovered as you said you would. You need to do better for my constituents in Georgia. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. DeJoy, core job of the Postal Service is to deliver mail and packages on time, correct? Yes, sir. Are mail and packages being delivered on time in Georgia today? No, sir. Why not? We have had uh, significant issues in terms of transitioning from 11 plants in the Atlanta area into three. Excuse me, could, could you speak into the microphone, yeah. please? We, we've, we've taken on a big, Atlanta has been one of our worst, uh, the Georgia area has been one of our worst served areas over the last 10 years, uh, mostly because we had uh, t 10, 12 different locations around the Atlanta area. Mr. Drew, I don't want to talk about the last 10 years, I want to talk about the last three months. All right, well, we do, you, do you know, since you made this shift to the new Palmetto facility, mm -hmm. What percent of outbound first-class mail was delivered on time in Atlanta? It's, it's a significantly lower number. Yeah, 66%. Do you know what share of inbound mail, first-class mail, is delivered on time? It's probably all a day late. So. Take, a, take a guess how much of it's on time. 35%. You're, you're pretty much there, 36%. Mm -hmm. 36% mm -hmm. of the mail is being delivered on time to my constituents. What is the specific nature of the operational failure? Uh, well, the specific nature of the operate, we had to move 2,000 people from all these different plants into one location. We have strict requirements as to when they move. It's a big facility that we opened up. We have inbound transportation issues. Uh, 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 yeah, but you knew it was gonna be hard and complicated, right? Yeah, and we tried to phase it in over, se several, over several months, which we did. Uh, and we're going to we're going to fix it. Uh, you're absolutely when? right. When is it going to be fixed? I, I, you will start seeing service improve. Over, you should see it start now, and I think we'll get to where we need to be in about 60 days. Do you think that one of your private sector competitors would have rolled out yeah, I a think new? They had excuse, the same. Hold on a second, Mr. Mm -hmm. Joy. A new system that would reduce on-time delivery to 36 percent, and then say it's going to take months to fix it. Months. Private businesses and ta taking on operations of this nature with the, with the resources that, that we have do, in fact, have these types of problems. 
you, okay. you don't have you don't have months to fix 36 percent of the mail being delivered on time. Yes. I've got constituents right. with prescriptions that aren't being delivered. I've got constituents who can't pay their rent and their mortgages. I've got businesses who aren't able to ship products or receive supplies. I wrote you on March 14th. Did you get my letter? Uh, my office probably. My office got. Well, I didn't write your office. I wrote you. Did you receive my letter? I have not read your letter. You haven't read my letter. I tried to speak to you Friday or, or, or yesterday. You haven't read my letter. I have. The mail's I, not on time in Georgia. I'm a member of the committee with, of jurisdiction. You haven't read my letter. Well, that explains why I haven't received well, a response to my letter. March 14th, I wrote you with two specific questions. What update can you provide regarding the aforementioned reported issues at the Atlanta Regional Processing and Distribution Center in Palmetto? Question one. Question two, how is USPS currently communicating with customers in the metro Atlanta area reporting delayed and lost packages? You haven't read the letter? So, so letters come in, uh, people put, they put stuff to, to, together to answer okay. it and get, and you, get let me, let me just give you yeah. just a friendly piece of advice. You should, you should personally read letters mm -hmm. from members of the U.S. Senate Committee right. that funds and oversees your operations, particularly where you are failing abysmally to fulfill your core mission mm -hmm. in my state. And let me be clear, I think postal workers are out there every single day working their hearts out to deliver the mail on time. But if they don't have the infrastructure and the management competence overhead them to make a transition like this without drastically impairing the core function of the Postal Service, everyone in my state is losing. You, the amount of distress this is causing my constituents in massive is massive. And I want to know what you are going to do, what specific steps you are going to take to fix this within two weeks. So we have engaged over 50 different management executives on, on site. We've, we're, we're, we're finishing up our staffing at, all the, at the remaining three locations. We are looking at our truck schedules, re revamping our truck schedules. Uh, we are stabilizing the operation in terms of uh, uh, our, our machinery that's, that's, that we have deployed there. We are working better on our, we have special teams down on site on, working on our docks and we're working the rest of the transportation uh, uh, aspects of this that are causing a significant amount of problems. And the two plants where we did a lot of transfers with, by uh, within the next uh, 10 days, we should have them fully staffed. Uh, we had uh, uh, issues in terms of those transfers. So the team is working, yeah. working very hard. And I can assure you that in the long, in the long run, Right, that you will have the uh, probably the best service in the we, country. No, the, the long run is is too long. You've got weeks, when, not when months. I, you've I got say, weeks, not months, well, to fix this. And if you don't fix it, thirty six percent on time delivery. I don't think you're fit for this job. I yield okay. to Senator Butler. 